Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel Annette. If this is your first time here, thank you for clicking on my video. As you can see today, I'm just going to be testing out a few new items of makeup. Some I received in PR, some I went out and bought myself. The entire face is not going to be a face of full makeup, but I love makeup and that is primarily my passion on my channel. As you grow with me, um, you'll see that I'm going to start doing more lifestyle stuff, but my true passion and uh, what this channel really, really is about is beauty and makeup. So I'm just going to dig into a few things. I'm kind of in a rush and do anything too intricate, but I just want to share a couple of few things that I think need to be talked about on my channel. So if you're interested in seeing how I came up with this look, you're more than welcome to continue on watching. Let's go ahead and dive in. She pull up, pop out, then she swerve Do your two-step, your little cat won't make it work Make it work, do your things, make it work Strike a pose Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and miss my face with this first Solly, this is their 24 karat gold rose elixir spray It smells so good, it smells like a citrus, honestly, you guys And I just really, really love this It hydrates, primes, and sets your makeup Next, I'm gonna go ahead and reach into the Kate Somerville. This is the B3 Vitamin C. This is their Brighten and Even Serum, along with the Squalane and Hyal Hyaluronic Acid. I like both of these, so we mix these both together. And then we just go ahead and mix these both together, and it gives the greatest priming base, I'm telling you. All right, so after that, as you already can see, my brows have been done off camera, um, and I used the brand new Huda Beauty Balm Brows. If you guys haven't seen, I did go ahead and do my first impressions of that. I really like it. So I let that absorb into my skin before going on to the next thing. Otherwise, everything's just going to start rolling off, and maybe we don't have time for that. I'm actually on the time crunch anyways. So... Oh, but this, y'all, this makes my skin feel so good. I don't even know how to explain to you. That stuff, these two serums mixed together are literally godsend, okay? So, so bomb. Next, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face. I'm going to be using this glow recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Moisturizer Pink Juice. And this smells so good, like a watermelon summer day. Like a watermelon slice on a warm summer day. all hydrated and then let that absorb into my decollete and my neck because that part of your skin needs moisture as well taking a second taking our time I know I'm in a rush but you still need to take your time and you'll know it's absorbed when you can touch your face and it just feels like a little bit uh, tacky everything has been absorbed you don't want it to still be wet and slippery so next I'm going to be using the newer released this is the Huda Beauty water jelly primer y'all know that I really really love this um, I feel like this is really good for like a skincare like for your skin care it's just a very neutral product that just does its job grips your foundation to your skin and really doesn't give any type of um, reaction to your skin you don't need a lot I made the mistake doing two pumps when I first reviewed this and it was like way too much product so one pump on each side and you'll be fine you just pat that into your skin underneath your chin as well I wasn't priming underneath my chin and I was like, why do I keep breaking out underneath my chin? I'm just having these terrible breakouts underneath my chin. It was like cystic actually, you know? And I was like, what the heck, why my chin? And I was like, oh, I'm not even priming underneath and I'm always putting foundation. So don't forget to prime under your chin too, please. And this when it is, when this um, is actually done, this is very sticky. It's kind of, I want to say it has like, if you've ever seen the Milk Makeup, their green one, it's like that. So it's going to help the foundation adhere to your face. But for me, I always like to put a touch of translucent powder over it in my larger pores and to set my smile lines so I don't have any creasing and you can't really, and, and the powder really just masks my pores. So. And next, I'm going to be picking up the brand new reformulated and re-released Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I did review this, you guys, so you can go ahead and check out that review. I'm in the shade Chocolate Mousse 450G. Just going to say there is a bunch of different colors for y'all to choose from. If you've ever been skeptical about not finding your shade because you are a deeper skin tone or you're extremely fair, 
guess what? This one is probably, you're probably gonna find your match, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and apply this to our face. Don't need a lot. This baby is very, very thick, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and blend this out with the Sephora foundation brush. I don't even think there's a number. It just says, yeah, foundation. It's just their foundation brush. Beautiful full coverage blend. All right, next. So for our first new product that we are going to be testing out today, this is the Cafe by Marc Jacobs. Y'all, I'm very excited about this. Not only because it says cafe and it's coffee and I'm coffee obsessed, but like it's just the packaging was beautiful and Marc Jacobs, I really do like everything it comes out with. Um, sometimes I don't ever have the shades that I need in my local Sephora and I have to literally directly order off of Marc Jacobs' site. Y'all know Cream and Sugar, their uh, lip gloss is one of my absolute favorites. So we're gonna open her up. I got the shade Tan 320. Look at the packaging. I swatched three shades in store and I feel like this one wasn't going to be too light after it dried down or too yellow. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out. This jumbo tube, so cute. So cute, I don't think I have um, a concealer this big, and, like high, you can definitely tell this is quality, it's glass, you guys, so bomb. So this is what the applicator looks like. Bomb. And even though it looks like a liquidy consistency, it's actually a full coverage dry mattifying foundation um, feel. That's how it dried down in Sephora. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this, just a little bit. Now this is very, very, very full coverage, y'all. And it's so liquidy enough to where you only need to take it out one time, okay? This jar is going to last a long, long time. And there's so much product in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take a beauty blender and blend this out. Whoo, pretty. Okay, so maybe I should let this dry down a little bit because I'm blending it out and yeah, I'm just gonna let it dry down a little bit more. So let this dry down a little bit and then blend it out. So it blended out lightly on the middle part right there, but when I let that dry down, it started to get a little bit more mattifying. So you just let this dry down for a couple of seconds and then blend it. And it's blending out to my liking perfectly. It's a very silky, medium full coverage concealer. That is very lightweight, it's not tacky, it's not gripping and, and pulling down my eyelids or anything. I like it already. I really, really like this. All right, so I went ahead and set my face with some of the Huda Beauty, the uh, the Blondie powder. You guys know that is one of my faves. I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Fenty Beauty. This is their Pro Filter Foundation in 385 with that same foundation brush. Since this foundation is full coverage, but it's not mattifying. So if you'd like a luminous finish, you don't have to set this, but I want it to be matte. I want it to be matte because I will be going out and about and running errands and all that jazz today. So I need it to be set because I'm going to be taking my mask on and off. So this may not be a newer release, but it's my first time ever using this. This was sent over by Makeup Revolution and this is their Forever Flawless palette. Very, very pretty palette. It's the first time ever using something from them. We're gonna go ahead and dip into Connect. And that is a very deep, ooh, it packs punch, child. I was not expecting it. I picked up a lot, not because I thought that maybe it was going to blend away. That was just like my experience with most drugstore brands, but whoa, look at that. It's jam-packed full of color and it's actually moving. So, so that's good. We've got some color payoff for that. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Loyal and just try to buff that right there because I don't want such an intense chocolateness all the way up to my brow. I really didn't know that I was going to get all that color, y'all, for real. Blend that out. It's gonna be a very, very neutral day. And then, just pop something on my eye. So I'm gonna reach into that pretty shade, Affinity like a champagne shade. I'm just gonna put 
out of my eye. <gasps> oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so jam packed with color, y'all. I only dug into it a little bit. What the heck? I'm gonna use effect too, just to see. Effect is rose gold and I put it over affinity because I didn't know affinity was gonna be that bright, y'all. Bringing that up to my crease. A great shade paint off. I didn't even wet this or anything. This is just directly pan to eye. So I'm gonna line my eyes with the Hank and Henry. This is the Slick With It, <laughs> and it's in blickety brown. And I don't want a super black look, you know. Um, it's a deep enough brown liner to give me a little bit of ump, but it's not going to give me a little bit of ooh, like nighttime super intense black liner. So this is a new release by Makeup Revolution, or Revolution Makeup, and this is their 5D Lash. And I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how this works. I really do like the tip. It's very long and precise, so I can get my bottom lashes and everything. So let's go see ahead what's going on. I've been on a mascara kick lately. It really combs through and gets everything and really coats it quickly. Not drying, it's very wet. And I feel them curling actually. I feel them lifting. They're looking pretty dang good. I'm just gonna put two coats, but it feels really good. If I had an eyelash curler, which I don't know, it's still packed away, I feel like I could just wear this out. I feel them lifting as it's drying. And as you can see, those are my real lashes. So if you're not into fake lashes, this is going to be bomb. And it's at an affordable, decent price. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dust off the rest underneath my eyes since I'm not doing too much at all. So now I'm just going to take whatever is left on that brush and just drag that underneath my waterline. We're not going for anything intense. I'm not going for a pop of color or anything. I'm just kind of in a rush. And I want a very, very neutral. I actually have to pick up a little bit more. These things are a little hard to open. So I'm mixing Connect and Loyal together. Dusting off the excess and just dragging that underneath my waterline. All right, so that is drug underneath. Um, next thing we are going to do is pick up this brand new blush palette by Hank and Henry Beauty. So this is a blush quad. There's three different shades. There's one for lighter skin. There's one for medium, there's one for dark. All are interchangeable and you can use for all, but I mean, they really, really, really gave it to us for the melanin girls, y'all, look. Okay, Hank and Henry, push through, right? Here are the swatches. Yes, yes, yes. So we're just gonna pick up this light blush brush by Sonia Kasich, sorry, Kashuk, and I'm going to pick up so the names are on the back. Actually, I didn't even know that. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Voila and Cheeky. Actually, what is that? It's Silly Sienna and Voila. And that's these two together. I just think these are really pretty and they're gonna blend very well. Oh my God, look at that pigment. Chub. I can't wait to see what happens. I've been into blush lately. So pigmented and really really shows up these two together are very pretty okay now yes 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 I love this combo together it gives a little pink and a little bit of orange love it both of these together as you guys can see very springy <laughs> so next we're going to reach into this brand new release by Morphe X Abani Greg I don't really know who Abani Greg is but that doesn't mean I won't support her unless there's some controversy around her, but I have, I did a little research and there wasn't. So I decided to support her because this packaging and everything is so cute, right? And then not only is it a bronzer, but it has, it's a bronzer with um, a little bit of a shimmer in it. And I don't have any bronzers with any shimmer. All of my bronzers are matte. So I was like, I definitely need to get this. So look at this. This is the deepest one. It's called Bahamas. It's a luminous bronzer. And we're bringing back blush and we're bringing back luminous bronzers. Definitely here for it. And if you purchase this, you got a free brush. I love that. A little incentive by Morphe. They always are giving you a free brush and the brushes are really good actually. So this is their Kabuki that goes with this bronzer and we're gonna go ahead and dip into this and see how she applies. There she is as you guys can see there's some luminous stuff going on. 
So we're gonna start on the jawline first because this is a big, a big brush for me. Not bad, not bad at all. Has a red undertone that I'm not mad at, mimicking Mocha Mami. And I would say that this is kind of like leader as well, but with um, gold reflex in it. So I'm a little bit, I'm just gonna put this like on my forehead. I don't know if I'm gonna do my cheeks with this chunky kabuki, because I really need some definition. I don't want to drag bronzer too low and then it's gonna offset the shape of my face. So I'm just gonna do it around the perimeter of my face. But we're gonna take to our trusty and true Sigma. This is our angled kabuki brush and I'm going to define my cheeks using that brush. It's really pretty. It's a very light brush of color and it's not too heavily glittery, if that makes sense. Not mad at this at all, y'all. I like it because very perfect color for me for a bronze. So next, y'all know for sure this isn't a new release, but I feel like you, Dose of Colors, should bring this back. KDX Desi Chasing the Sun. It's my second one. I can't get another one. Can y'all please bring it back? Or if not, where can I find it? This is absolutely one of my, this is my staple highlighter. It really, really is the perfect c consistency and color for me. This is my favorite highlighter. Can y'all please bring this back? And the packaging, like everything about this release I got, I had to get to. I had to. Now I'm going to take that mascara and put it in my bottom lashes too before I pop on some lashes. The new lashes I'll be using today are from Vita Alice. This is a newly launched lash brand by my friend. She is a beauty influencer, also a very professional makeup artist that is always booked in Sacramento. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all of her information down below. Congratulations on your launch, girl. I got some and she gave me a few, um, but y'all, I would definitely buy it more and I'm going to. These are so pretty. The butterfly packaging is just so perfect for spring as well. So these are the style Alice and these are just like the everyday, I feel like very everyday fluffy lash. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys what lash glue I use. I use this one. I don't use the black one anymore. I like to apply this. The only problem is this leaks. No matter what I do, it leaks and I travel a lot. So I put it in my luggage and it always leaks and so like I lose more product, but the way that this stuff applies and how there's never really any residue on my eye lash line, I really like it. And it doesn't pull my eyelash hairs out and it dries quickly. So this is just like my favorite duo lash glue. I've been using this for about nine months. You can just pop it right on and watch. Ooh, these are so pretty. And behold, you have the perfect Okay, so I thought this was gonna be everyday, but this is just such a wispy, pretty lash. This is an everyday lash. It's so pretty and wispy and light. Very curly, very fluffy and fluttery like a butterfly. Love it. Love, love, and we're moving. She's not too heavy and she's not poking me in the inside of my eye. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> That's exactly what I was looking for, y'all. Because you get these lashes and you're like, oh yeah, they're so pretty, that style is pretty. But then you get it, it's heavy and it won't stop poking you in the middle of your like your tear duct and then it keeps watering so you have to keep reapplying it and those are the type of lashes that we say goodbye to. <laughs> no one has time for that in 2021 and beyond. You just dry that lash glue a little bit, seriously, and you can apply it. You don't have to wait for it to dry down or anything, seriously. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my Makeup Forever. This is the Limitless Brown Lip Liner. And then um, a newer release, my newest lipstick that I have right now is the Hank and Henry Cherry Cherry Matte Nudes. Y'all know that I use Buffant. You just need a little bit. This is the perfect peachy nude pink, y'all. And it stays. It just creates the perfect nude look for me. This isn't a new gloss, but it is my holy grail. It's the Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar, and I think it's sold out at Sephora. It was on sale and it sold out. Perfect lip combo. And then we're just gonna take this spray and set our face again. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Um, very, very everyday, but everything that I tried out today is really good. Everything that I've tried has really, really proven to be good so far. Um, 
yeah really cute releases and i really would suggest going to get that bronzer is so bomb you guys and it's at an affordable price i don't know if the promotion for the free uh kabuki brush is still going on but if you could get it go get it because it worked out really good and it helped chisel underneath my chin really really quickly so if you enjoyed this look if you have any questions about any of the new products that i introduced to my channel today leave me a comment down below don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really does help me a lot guys it let me lets me know you liked the video and that you would like to see more of this you know what i mean and it really 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 helps me more than you know so don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you guys here very soon in my next video.